Good day, folks. Welcome back to another time video. Uh, been restocking my chronomid box and uh, got on to these uh, particular chronomids and don't think we've got a video up for them. So thought I'd throw one together while I was doing these up. Uh, this is called the Doc Pupa and that's dirty olive chronomid pupa. Um, wicked little pattern, uh, works really well in deeper water. Um, but anytime those kind of olive bugs are coming off, um, uh, give this a shot. And, uh, so the hook I've got in the vise is a size 12, uh, pro tire check nymph hook. Um, and I've got a coffee brown, uh, 7 ths anodized bead. And I'm going to tie with some rusty brown tying thread. So just go ahead and get my thread, push the bead out of the way, get my thread tied in. And I'll throw some gills on this one. For the gills, I'm just using the usual uni stretch. A couple wraps on top, a few more in front just to prop those gills up. Trim out my excess, and then I'll just throw in a few turns of the whip finish there. Trim that out, get the bead back up, and just get retied in, and immediately just start working a taper on this fly. <clears throat> And next material we're going to tie in is some small size copper brown UTC wire. So I'll just grab that and work my way down into the bend here. Come down a little ways. That looks pretty good there. And then we're going to take some, this is olive buzzer wrap. And I'm just going to grab the end of that buzzer wrap and get some nice even wraps coming back up the shank. Just try to smooth everything out, make sure that wire's covered up. Give my bobbin a spin, flatten everything out. And just come back down. One more time to make sure everything's covered up. And nice and smooth. Just like so. Now we can go ahead and wrap our buzzer wrap. And try to keep it side by side without overlapping. I want the hint of olive in there, but we're going for kind of a dirty look. So it's the nice thing about this buzzer wrap is that rusty brown will still somewhat show through. Creates a neat effect. I'll wrap this right up to the bead. Go ahead and tie it off. Snip out our excess and just go ahead and rib the fly. That looks pretty good. Come in there. Tie that wire off, a few wraps. Twist that out of there. Just gonna flatten that one more time. Finish up this collar, nice and smooth. Give it a whip finish. Trim 
trim that out. Give the old gills a trim. And come in with some good old crazy glue. And just give it a coating and you'll really see the olive kind of pop when you put this coating on. But uh, rusty brown still shows through underneath. And uh, like I say, it gives a pretty neat uh, dirty olive look. It's a wicked little pattern. So give that one a try. I know it'll uh, catch you a ton of fish, that little thing. So that's all there is to the Doc Pupa. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.